So let's create this digital painting beautiful looking landscape in Infinite Painter. First of all we are gonna use the medium airbrush from the sprayers for coloring the canvas into the dark blue color and keep it at maximum size possible with the maximum opacity. Just paint it from top to bottom and then as we move forward you are gonna use more lighter version of blue color. Now add a new layer by clicking on the plus icon and now use soft airbrush from the sprayers and keep the size at around 20 to 30 percent and opacity at 70 percent. Now we are gonna start creating the clouds in the sky. Gradually start from the left with the little opacity so that it won't look like it's over detailed. To make it faster, use maximum size of the brush in the center of the cloud and use minimum size of the brush in the left and the right side of the cloud. Try to create it using the circle movement of the hand so that it won't look like that it's not fluffy enough. Now create some little detail in the clouds using the minimum size of the brush possible. In the corner of the clouds, use the pure white color with the maximum opacity. Now randomly add some white color in the center too. Now repeat that same process to create more and more clouds as we gradually go low.
Now we are gonna start adding some clouds in almost the center of the canvas in a straight row. First with a little opacity and then for more detail use pure white color with the maximum opacity. Now we are done with the sky and now we are going to move to the land. Now use the medium airbrush from the spears with the dark green color and draw the straight line in almost the center of the canvas. Now add some little trees in the distance using the same brush. It totally depends on you how you create this curve. Now fill the rest of the area with the same brush and the same color. Okay, now use the soft airbrush from the sprayers for adding some little light green to the land. Just create some random straight lines and the opacity should be at 50%. Just cover all the area with it. Use blood splatter brush from the sprayers so that you can create some little flowers in the distance. Use yellow color for bright looking flowers. The brush size that I am using is around 8 to 10 percent for the far land and as we gradually move forward and forward you can use maximum size of the brush. Now select the soft pen brush from the pens for creating some grass. Use dark green color for it. And you can also use the vertical symmetry tool so that you don't have to uh, work uh, on both the sides. Just cover all the area with it. Now add a new layer and keep it below that previous layer and use a lighter green color for doing the same work that we have done.
Now add a new layer on top of all the layers and use black color for creating more grass. Now we have to add some of the flowers in this grass so we are gonna use the salt blossom brush from the watercolor. The size should be at around 30 to 40 percent. You can use any color it completely depends on you but use some bright colors like yellow, pink or red. Now after doing this work, merge all the layers into one layer. Just tap on the layer and click on the merge button. Ok you can do one more thing. Just go to the calligraphy section and select the soft tapper brush and keep it at around 8 to 10 percent and use black color for creating some birds in the sky. If you don't want to do it, just completely skip it, it's additional. Ok, we're done. Now we're gonna merge this layer too and yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed watching the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.